to the class of 2020. First of all, I want to thank the class of 2020 for taking this journey with me at Reginald Lewis High School. In 2016, you walked in as freshmen. Thank you parents and guardians for entrusting me with your son and daughter's high school education. Teachers, staff, and administrators, thank you for your hard work and dedication to the class of 2020. Class of 2020, in the wake of COVID-19 virus, this is not the graduation we anticipated. However, we must move forward. Today is your day. Today is the start of a promising future for you. It's not a distant reality anymore. It begins here, it begins today. You begin high school as children, but you are leaving here as adults. You completed a basic education that will serve as a platform to launch yourself into your future. Some of you will go on to college, trade school, or others will go straight into the workforce, but each of you will travel your own path. No matter where you go or what you do, there are challenges ahead of you. What I'm asking from each of you is to meet those challenges straight on with your head held high and your heart wide open. It's not enough to simply try to get by in life. That doesn't move the world forward. You must try to excel in everything you do. Strive for excellence in every task, large or small. Although it may not be easy to see, every accomplishment you achieve is added to the world's accomplishments. Your individual success benefit society as a whole. Because when you succeed, you are a trailblazer for others. You have the power to inspire others and yourselves. My challenge to you is to ignore negativity. People will doubt and question your abilities and simply because you are from Baltimore. Tupac Shakur's poem, The Rose That Grew From Concrete, explains your trials and tribulations. It reads, did you hear about the rose that grew from a crack in the concrete, proving nature's law is wrong. It learned to walk without having feet. Funny it seems, by keeping its dreams, it learned to breathe fresh air. Long live the rose that grew from concrete when no one else ever cared. Like the rose in this poem, despite what's around you, what you are going through or what you've been through, I need you to continue to dream Keep going no matter what and reach your full potential. I wish you well on your next journey and may God bless each and every one of you. Congratulations class of 2020.
Congratulations to the class of 2020, to all the teachers, coaches, and families. I know this is not what we expected to be this school year as you entered Reginald Lewis in 2019. You will find that in life, you will have your ups and downs and you cannot determine what the outcome is gonna be. Well, one thing's for sure that you have in, in your corner is yourself. During these times, you must not give up. You must keep going, you must stay the course. Many of you have overcome so many obstacles that we know. And many of you guys have achieved so many things, much more than your family have done. So this day, you guys should be proud of yourself. No, it's not the way we want to celebrate, but we must celebrate. Dr. Angelou said it best. In life, you may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. So today, I need you to stand up, stay focused, and celebrate that you are graduated from Reginald Lewis High School. Some of you guys already know what you're going to do. Some of you guys are trying to figure out what you're going to do. Take this time to reflect, and I know you guys will do great things. And always remember, keep going no matter what. The door has opened, and the world is yours. Accept a helping hand. Accept words of encouragement. Stay positive and share your gifts with others. Keep your dreams and goals alive by keep going no matter what. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Greetings, senior class of 2020, parents, guardians, family, faculty, staff, and guests. My name is Mr. Rader, and I have the distinct pleasure of being one of your senior class advisors. It has been my honor to personally teach the class of 2020s as sophomores and as juniors, and finally watch them step into their roles as school leaders as seniors. There were what seemed like endless days filled with countless memories that I will cherish forever. While 2020 has not been the year that any of us could have asked for, we will be stronger for it. Our school's motto, keep going no matter what, has never been more appropriate. And that's what I want to emphasize to our graduates. Graduates, you have persevered. You have pushed yourselves. You have and will continue to succeed. And you have earned this moment. Though the uphill battle will not be easy, it is for you that we must continue to fight it. You are the future that matters most. Never forget that. Once more, congratulations to the Reginald F. Lewis High School graduating class of 2020. Hello everyone, it's Mr. Beagle, your class of 2020 advisor. During the summer of 2016, I decided to step it up and be one of the Summer Bridge educators for my first time, and it was also going to be my first full year at Reginald F. Lewis High School. I think walking into Room 100 and seeing that just about everyone had pretty much the same look on their face, excitement, fear, curiosity, it gave me a feeling of comfort and knowing that we can do this. As the week went on, our bridge babies became more and more comfortable and really started coming out of their shells. This only made me more eager to be an advisor for the class of 2020 and see how you are all going to be going from shy 8th grade graduates in the big high school building to owning the school your senior year. Even though the bridge program included a small portion of the full number of students in the class, it gave us as teachers a good idea of what you all had in store for us. And you did not cease to amaze and shock us throughout the four years. There have been way more ups and downs, luckily, in this high school career of yours, but you all can truly say that you are the class that's been through it all. Now, I know this senior year hasn't been what you've been dreaming of or even imagined it being, but I think it's making you all into better versions of yourselves for your own futures. You can now tell anyone you work well under pressure and are very adaptable to change firsthand. You can now say you're more tech savvy than your competition and you can TikTok better than the next guy. You can even say that you stay focused when the world seems like it's against you. You've developed the tools that the world needs to change the course of history, but do not forget your years at Reginald F. Lewis High School because I definitely cannot forget you. Good afternoon, everybody. This is class president of Reginald F. Lewis speaking. Everything about the school year did not go as planned. Some may even say the class of 2020 had the worst school year. In my eyes, we are still the best class. Why? Because we pushed ourselves through it. 
he put the work and time in, just like any other class. All them long days of work, we did that. All of them hours of studying, we did that. All them nights for homework, we did that. Even through a pandemic, we still pushed through and succeeded. We can't let anyone take that away from us. Our, our days at RFL have come to an end, and now it's time to leave the nest. Class of 2020, we out and on to the next chapter. Everybody have a good day. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Lockby Nathan, the director and producer of 12 O'Clock Boys, a movie sh I shot in Baltimore. Um, you can tell I'm not from Baltimore, right, by the way I say Baltimore. But uh, anyway, I love that city. Um, and I just want to congratulate all of you, uh, the graduating class of uh, 2020, Reginald F. Lewis. Um, such a big milestone, such a big achievement. You should give all yourselves a pat on the back for that. Uh, it, you know, coming at such an incredible, turbulent time, you graduating now, uh, it's a historical moment. And uh, I think, you know, it seems like the world right now, as I record this, is the 6th of June, seems to be waking up to things that you growing up in Baltimore are already so intimately aware of. Uh, but that's inspiring. I think it's motivating. And uh, I think that this is a time for expression. And I encourage all of you to keep finding your mode of expression and cultivating that after school. And, uh, you know, as you continue. Um, and I want to invite any of you who might be interested in movies, because that's what I work on, to give me a call if you uh, want to talk about movies, about, you know, what, whatever I can share with you about how the industry works or, you know, you got an idea for something that you want to workshop, let's do it. So for anyone in the graduating class that wants to give me a call, uh, I'm going to give my number to one of your teachers. Um, and I just want to congratulate all of you again on a job well done and be safe. Take care of yourselves and uh, congrats. Talk to you soon. Hey, class of 2020. I am Deja Coles, a 2019 graduate from the Reginald F. Lewis High School. I had the privilege of having class with some of you, playing sports, and even having a discussion. But today, I'm here to congratulate you all on your success of finishing high school. I'm truly sorry that your senior year didn't go as planned and that many opportunities were missed. But as Dr. Sue said, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Don't allow this pandemic to set you back because many of you will receive blessings and opportunities after this tragic event. All the trials that you have gone through during the duration of high school, along with being faced with COVID-19 during your prom and graduation season is a prime example of keep going no matter what. I hope that you all continue to thrive as brilliant men and women, no matter if you choose to jump into your career path, attend an institution of higher learning, or serve in the United States Reserve. I'm very proud of you all, and I wish you the best of luck. Aisha Aki. Domi Melissa Aldana. Quintain Reginald Allen. Shanice Salita Anderson. Makai Sincere Andrade. John Bailey Jr. Maurice Bethia. Jayla Boston. Timnadra Juanita Bradley. Kimberly Denise Brown. Tamira Brown. Alexa Camijo Nunez. Demetis Canales Perdomo. Deshauna Erica Carter. Desmond Edward Caution. Brian Howard Michael Cheney. Khadija Sisby. Deasia Lanita Clowney. Charlotte Latrice Cole.
Tiffany Crocker. Kayla Nayana Dates. Abilio Ivan Del Cid Membreno. Josue Nehemiah Diaz Diaz. George Dukes. Keon Eldridge Brown. Tyshawn Tyrell Ellington. Blossy Flanagan. Antoine Jerome Freeman. Montrell Lamont Friend. Rodney Gant. Harun Gari. Ephraim Gari. Candace Simone Good. Deshane Goodwin. Selena Harrison. Angel Hill. Jibez Hinton. Shamaya Halt. Kennard Isaiah Jackson. Lakia Shantia Jack. Fayon Jerome Jackson. Gartrell Johnson. Javante Johnson. Louis Samuel Johnson. Tanisha Johnson. Gabrielle Jones. Tyshell Knox. Jeremiah Lacey. Brandon Christopher Ledbetter. Elion Lemus. Tyron Raymond Logan. Alton Lamar Lott. Adrian LaShawn Loving. Demonico Marshall. Blanca Celia Martinez. Colin McCullough. Noah Kenneth Moy. Rodney David Myers. Cortez Nichols. Kofi Pointer. Daquan Poole. Diamond Ruben Powell. John Byron Powell. Vondell Maurice Saffron. Tamarcus Craig Sanders. Joanna Valdez Santos. Ederson Sosa. Deontay Damari Turner. Jennifer Vallata. Kelly Valera Barrera. Fontaine Earl Williams. Sincere Witherspoon. Najaya Wood. Desney Woodson. Martez York. Darrell Devon Young. Certificate of Completion. Stephanie Blades. Darius Jones. Emmanuel Shepherd. Congratulations to Reginald F. Lewis High School, Class of 2020. Though this year has been nothing like we imagined, know that it does not diminish your accomplishments. I am so proud of each and every one of you. And now, acknowledging the certification, 
and the recommendation by Principal Janine Patterson and by the authority vested in me as Instructional Leadership Executive Director, I take pleasure in presenting to you the graduating class of 2020 for the conferring of diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you Dr. Tracy Durant, Executive Director of Equity. In recognition of the certification of these graduates, the recommendation of the principal and the acknowledgement of the instructional leadership executive director and by virtue of the authority vested in me as executive director of equity for Baltimore City Public Schools, I take pleasure in accepting the graduating class of 2020 for the conferring of high school diplomas. Mm -hmm.